tonight as the holiday weekend gets underway and thousands leave New Providence from Potosky Dock headed for their island destination choice. They're likely to come face to face with what those who work at and frequent that dock site have endured for a long time. Renewed calls tonight from stakeholders who want Potosky Dock to get a facelift. Corval Pyfram has more. In the past, the authorities have, and with some success, tried to clean this place up. But once again, images like the one behind me are popping up. And for operators and patrons conducting business along this very busy commercial area, this is an eyesore, a nuisance, and a plain old mess. Captain Jed Munro was at least one potter skied mailboat operator willing to make his opinion known. And his opinion is the current state of the dock site stinks. From sunken vessels creating safety risks to other boats, marine life and the environment, to garbage piling up everywhere along this bustling popular attraction. Munro believes rather than improving, the situation at potter ski has worsened considerably. Uh, outside of many meetings over the years, um, regarding the state on um, trying to get Potosky Dock cleaned up. A lot is said in the meetings, but absolutely nothing is done. It's a, it's a waste of time sitting down at these meetings, discussing problems, discussing solutions, and nothing ever happens. And all of the meetings are that. You just sit down, you talk about things that need to be done, things that should be done, and nothing ever gets done. So what's the point of having a meeting, discussing things, and nothing ever gets done? It's a waste of time. Total waste of my time. And those who earn a living at Potterski have an idea of what they'd like their workplace to look like. I would like out here to look like the port in the back of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, I would like for them to remove all of these old containers, clean up all the oil spills that are around Potterski Dock, and just remove all the garbage. Meanwhile, Acting Port Controller Commander Byrne Wright says the process to rectify the situation at Potosky is ongoing, and he cautions it won't happen overnight. In the meantime, he reminds operators that it is their responsibility to remove their inoperable vessels. If, it is, if that vessel is deemed uh, an environmental hazard or a threat to, the, to navigation, then the government may move it in that interest but other than that the vessels the responsibility for the vessel is is the owner Wright says to date, the government has removed and disposed of more than two dozen derelict vessels, and there are plans to remove several more in the not-too-distant future. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Corval Pyfram. In case you missed the news or want to stay ahead, follow us at ZNS Digital on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or X. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on our website at ZNSBahamas.com.